back with more Doom Patrol. And if you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm you. You're here. Let's be here together. Down below in the description box, I'm going to do my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash metameeks. And over there, I have full length version of my reaction as well as YouTube clear and select early access series. And I also have a merch shop with t shirts, hats, hoodies, mugs, all types of things. So, which ones of designs on them. So, if you want to support me monetarily, those are your two options. I got my Patreon and I got my merch shop. But you don't have to support me monetarily, you can support me monetarily. How? You may ask. Subscribe. Why? Biatch, it's free. It costs zero dollars to hit the subscription button. Hit the notification button to be notified of my videos for free. Support for me. For free. It's free. Support for me. Thanks. I do appreciate it. So, last time on Doom Patrol, listen. Listen. We got a little backstory into why Rita feels like she has earned everything that has happened to her. And pretty much she was using... um other uh young ladies i'm gonna say as leverage pawns tokens what is this in my cup like who who is who's man's it's gotta be cork why is cork in here but um using other women as pretty much a step step stools you want to say i guess you want to put that that way to or like life force to keep her career alive is at a certain age you know hollywood stops calling so she was like what what can she do to keep her name in the pictures and that's exactly what she did she went ahead and set up little young girls to be um meetings to have meetings with this particular um film producer director studio owner i think he's i know he's a big wig but i can't remember exactly what he does and um she just kept setting him up with people and he just kept, you know, abusing his position, getting them the roles that they, you know, wanted and they were being successful because of it. So it helped her out because she also got parts. Um, and uh, it didn't work out really well. The last one she set up ended up having a baby and the guy was like, I don't do that around here. And then Rita, instead of helping her out, gave her a hundred bucks and was like, there. And she ended up killing herself, but she didn't know what happened to the baby. So she felt so bad that she didn't, do her best to take care of this young lady that she felt that she deserved everything that happened to her um, afterwards. And I understand the guilt, I get it, but facing it and saying it out loud is the first step into acknowledging it and dealing with it. You know what I'm saying? First steps, first steps. Um, but then we had Cyborg who was in the hospital where Rita was keeping him company. Well, he wasn't in the hospital, he was in the hospital or at the hospital with his dad who was in the hospital. Um, luckily, he did not die, but um, he is stable, unconscious, and in critical condition, pretty much. And Cyborg feels horrible. He should, because he allowed Mr. Nobody to plant a seed of doubt and exploit that seed of doubt to the point where he just went off and attacked his dad. Even though his dad was really trying to help him, we understand that your dad is doing some shady shit, but I, I still don't like that he did that because it was completely uncalled for. There's no reason, you can be mad at your dad without punching the shit out of him, you know what I'm saying? Or you can hit him once. Ah, there it is. Or you can hit him once and then call it a day, but he didn't do that. He kept punching like he was a normal person and you're not normal dog, you should know this. Um. But while they were at the hospital with his dad and while Rita was trying to get Cyborg to come back around and like put Grit in and help the team out, we had Jane, Cliff, and Larry who had um, Flex, I can't remember his name, Flex Menta, Mentalani, Mentalo, Ment something. It was, it was very weird how they said it, um, but Flex who had a superpower of his muscles, vibrations, something like that. He was the person in the cell next to Cyborg 722. And he's been there forever. And he was there because they kept his wife on a leash. And it was like, well, if you don't do what we say, we're gonna hurt your wife. And so he went ahead and did whatever they wanted to because he loved his wife, Dolores. And they were trying to figure out a way to get him to remember what happened, who he was, what his powers actually did. And it took bringing his wife back into it, back to him, as a matter of fact, in order for him to remember. But because he actually met up with his wife and they reunited him, it caused her to have like a, a fail safe trigger that the, um, what are they called? Division Bureau of Normalcy, whatever the hell they called, put in her and she literally just like, dusted that's literally what happened she was like thanos snapped away and it was really sad it was super sad uh, and we also know that um without the negative spirit larry would die and so they have to be together and he took this chance to to 
to let the negative spirit go. He's like, well, you can go somewhere, you can leave and I can just die and you can just, you can be out there flying around. Don't worry about me. One of us can be out there and be free. But the negative spirit was like, F that, you my guide dog. We've been together, you know, you know, you get on my nerves. We're, we're buddies, we're partners, you're saying. So he came back and gave him some life and they were like, you know what? Now that we know where we're gonna go, we know exactly where the chief is or where the beard hunter is. We can go ahead and uh, jump on this thing and find him. And Mr. Nobody was like, about time you guys got together to do something to come find me because I'm ready for the challenge. I'm ready. I am super ready. So on that note, I put this over here. There's another cork in my glass. Um, let's go ahead and jump into season one, episode 14 of Doom Patrol, Penultimate Patrol. Yep. What year are we? Oh, there we go, 1946. The only reason I'm alive right now is because they don't consider me a threat physically or... Mentally or something? Intellectually. Their words. I can't do this anymore. Oh, no, Millie, please. Girl, where are you going? What? And you gonna leave him at his lowest? Please. I am gonna be somebody. He is. But you're not. You're just a nobody. And that's what you'll always be. I would go five million and be like, bitch, look at me now. The disrespect break up in like oh not openly discussing the brotherhood of evil though if we'd known what would have happened we wouldn't have brought her to you it's my fault flex that's not true that contraption in her i went off the moment we recognize each other i should have known they'd be one step ahead of me i killed the loss no you didn't they did don't you ever say that. No. No, sir. No, sir. Wait. We got something up here. Is it like Danny Street? Danny? You two know each other? Oh. She's gone, Danny. Oh, give him a hug. Oh, hug him. Oh, not the flag down. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. What are you fuck was looking at? Where's Niles Calder? Do something else. Okay. Give me answers, or I give you bananas up your ass. I know it's up your ass. Peels. This shit from the fucking banana. I knew it was gonna be up your ass. White space? I know what the white space is. You gotta stop torturing yourself. It sucks. It's so bad that you did that. But you're here right now. You're waiting for him to get better so you can have a conversation. Just have a conversation. Have the conversation. All right. Everybody focus. I need you to focus on the white space. Ha ha ha! 
not on the bike, ma'am. Hold on for dear lords. <laughs> oh, my cheeks hurt. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, made my head hurt. My mistrust. You twisted it. You mistrusted me? Uh-huh. Yeah. Be honest with your dad. Be honest with your dad. Like, I just didn't trust the decisions you were making because you were making them without me. You're just telling me to do them. You weren't giving me any information. Flex, do your thing. Okay. Everybody focus. <sighs> you focus. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like this entire thing is a waste of time. Stop it, Paul. Holy shit. We're ready for you on the docks in 10, Miss Farr. The boat seems all set up. Jay, no one wants to hurt you, but you have to go to therapy. Holy shit. Holy shit. Cliff stole a watch from an alligator. <laughs> it's like bitch i'm i'm getting some head right now Shh. i'm still piece of garbage the way i was back here was so <clears throat> selfish uh -huh. dishonest uh -huh. i ruined this family years before today uh -huh. we still have a long way to go what about john then you can finally be with it. John's left his life. I should too. Uh -huh. We're supposed to protect the girl. <laughs> well, shit. Yep. Yeah. All I remember from the accident was waking up on the lawn. Mom was next to me with cheese. No. There was no mom? She was still alive. Okay. What? Each of you were barely hanging in there. It was Niles. He argued that you were the better physical candidate to accept the biotechnology. Damn, he wanted his wife back. Only made me realize one simple fact. Saving you would be the only choice your mother would make. The only choice she would let me make. Bro, listen, if you'd have brought her back and killed that baby. You mess with my actual memories. I don't expect you to forgive me. But I can hope that you know how so Do you know how hard it was? Carrying this for years. Where are you going? I got some people I can actually trust. Friends. And they need my help. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> now, who wants to get ripped apart first? Is this Rita? And why do you want to fight? We're getting ready for the big superhero fight. This is who you turn into? What are you overcompensating for? She got lucky. Or maybe the source of your problem is a woman. That is not... You're just a nobody. And that's what you'll always be. Bitch, how you do that? How are you doing this? You're doing all this because you were dumped? I get it. Standard stuff. Basic. I am not basic. I don't know. I feel kind of bad now that I know you. Me too. Yeah. Let us help you. 
Let Niles into your heart. No! Look at him smiling! I don't. But I am going to. Did somebody shoot his ass? What happened? Dark. Booyah. Oh, he said booyah! In me. In, I, it's a story for another time. Quite the wild ride, Chief. Finding you? I think you will have found much more than me. He's got to still be here. Looks like the task at hand has changed. Come on. Such a shame to leave all this food to spoil. <laughs> you just look after your own bacon. Hmm. Is it the butts? <laughs> What do you think it is? Maybe it's that. I like how they're all wearing... Not the robot he had. Is this real? Speak robot. Beep, beep, boop. Hey, big fella. You friend or foe? That is so funny. I'm like, I, I knew it couldn't be it. Get the fuck out of the way. Run like hell. Are they stuck in a loop? Or he's stuck in a loop? It's a Wow. This show is so cool. The genius finally figured it out. The Vic that shot Mr. Nobody is me. <laughs> One Niles. Tell them the truth. But I can't. Yes, you can. You can tell us anything. I was responsible for everything that has happened to each of you. Hmm. Oh, I am intrigued. Color me intrigued. I am intrigued. I need to knoweth. Oh, I'm intrigued. I knew it couldn't have been that easy. I was just like, first of all, how did he get there? Number one. Number two, I was like, okay. Hmm. But man, listen. Listen, that whole orgasm scene, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. I wasn't ready. It was so funny. It was so freaking funny. Oh my gosh, my cheeks hurt from it. Still, still, it was so good. Oh man. So like, did he do this all on purpose just to get them together to fight or to be involved with this nobody? Or was it just like one of those things where I had to do it because it was part of something he was in charge of before? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna go to the next episode. So on that note, guys, thanks for being with me. Hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh, so good.